every time I evolve Pokemon during a Q&A and I get a string of bad movesets, I get all kinds of comments from people saying maybe it's because you have a lucky egg on, maybe it's because of the nickname. And I get a lot of comments on theories about how to influence a moveset. Things like having a certain move before evolution guarantees you won't get that move after evolution. Now I've always been of the opinion that movesets are just random, that there's nothing you can do to predict or influence them, and we finally have confirmation of that. Silk Road's research team just published their study that looked at over 10,000 Pokemon evolutions to find these results. They looked at a lot of different factors to find out if any of them influence movesets after evolving. They looked at the quick move of the Pokemon before evolving, they looked at the charge move of the Pokemon before evolving, they looked at what team the trainer was on, they looked at the Pokemon's starting level, they looked at whether or not the Pokemon had a nickname at the time of evolution, they looked at whether or not a lucky egg was active, they looked at the overall appraisal rating, they looked at the highest IV category, they looked at whether or not the Pokemon had perfect IVs in attack, defense, or stamina, whether or not the Pokemon had any perfect IVs, or whether or not the Pokemon had all perfect IVs. And for every single one of those factors, they found that it had no correlation, no influence on the moves that the Pokemon got after evolving. The study found that move sets and moves are evenly distributed, that each one has an equal probability. The Pokemon has an equal chance of getting any of its quick moves and an equal chance of getting any of its charge moves. So for a Pokemon with two quick moves and three charge moves, that means you have a 1 in 6 or 16% chance of getting the best moveset or the worst moveset or any other moveset in between. This isn't groundbreaking or earth-shattering news, but it should finally put to rest any myths and rumors floating around that there are ways to influence or predict movesets. It's truly random, you guys. So the next time someone tells you they know how to predict a moveset or how to influence a moveset, you'll know the truth. Close. Yeah. Thank you. This is our struggle. We wake up late, woke up at like 1.30 today, and we always want breakfast, but all the good breakfast restaurants close at like 2.30. It's 2.30. The good news is 1.30 p.m. in LA is 6.30 a.m. in Japan, so I won't be jet lagged when I get there. While we figure out where we should actually eat, might as well grab my first catch of the day bonus. Slow. What do you think? IHOP? Is that really our only? Mm, I mean, around here, yeah. For breakfast, yeah. Around here. For good all day breakfast, we have to go to LA, and I really don't want to do that right now. I have enough to do today. What do I have to do today? I'm not really sure. It just feels like there's a lot to do because I'm leaving the country tomorrow. Catch these Pokemon and then we'll maybe go get some IHOP. We ended up here. May I please have the pancake combo? Can I have shelled scrambled eggs? Thank you. Life tip get shelled eggs at IHOP. If you don't ask for shelled eggs, they give you, I don't know where it comes from, a carton, powdered eggs. It's not like a real egg that they crack if you end up at IHOP. Here's another thing that needs to get done before I leave. Laundry. I'm only pretending to help, but I'm really just getting in the way. Excuse me. <laughs> We're just trying to spend a little time together before I leave. 
It's kind of a gloomy day, so this feels appropriate. We bought copies of Black and White 2 a while ago so we could play together, and um, I haven't had nearly as much time to play as I would have liked. I have one badge. Cassie has seven. So I'm just trying to catch up. I'm making a list of things I need to remember to pack because you guys probably know this by now, but I tend to forget things when I pack. And I definitely don't want to forget anything essential, especially when traveling internationally. I ended up getting a refund for my rail pass because it wasn't going to make it here in time before I left on my flight tomorrow morning. And I actually found a fare calculator, and it turns out that with the amount of distance that we're traveling, it's actually going to be considerably cheaper to just buy a rechargeable card and pay for each fare there. So I'm saving uh, probably about a hundred bucks on that total. Of course, I sort of just guessed for some of these stops, um, but at the very least from Tokyo to Sendai, where we're staying in the hotel, to Ishinomaki, and all the way back, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than buying the full-on seven-day rail pass. I think this is it. Did I forget anything? I don't know, looks good to me. Let me know if I forgot something, although I guess I won't see that until it's too late. Are you ready? Is Chance asleep already? Yeah. Do you want to see me? Well, let me go see Chance asleep. Just stopping by my mom's before we head out for dinner to say bye to everyone real quick. I really hope Chance isn't asleep already. Hey dude. Hi. What do you want from Japan? I don't know. Alright. Well, I'll bring you something. Okay. Are you sleeping already? No. Oh. You seem really tired. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Next time you want to come with me? Yeah. Okay. Oh, go to the Poke Center. Is it Poke Center? Is that what they call it? Pokemon Center Mega Tokyo? Yes. Yes, that's on my list. Bring... That's on my list, Mom. Go to the Poke Center. And it's on get, my list. Get, um... Chance wants a Psyduck. Yeah. Is that what he wants? i for a Psyduck for Chance. Okay, bye, Mom. Alright, bye, love. Necessary, but uh, at least I don't have to hold the camera this way. Okay, this place has no travel size stuff, so. I need to go somewhere else. Everywhere we go today, no Poke stops. There's Pokemon though. I still need to get my first spin of the day. All right? And even where we're planning on going for dinner, no Poke stops. We're gonna have to stop somewhere. How bad do I want this Marowak, actually? This is it. After this, I'm over it. Here's the travel size though. It's not bad. I'm still not sure if it's worth it. Triple sand true though. Sweet. Yes. Yeah. 
Ever since I was a kid, I always have to stop here whenever I come into Target. Even if I don't get anything. Even if I don't play any of these games right now. Just gotta stop and look. Okay, dinner? Yes. Wait, focus stop first. Okay. And then dinner. Okay. Look. Two scythers. Again? Is this a scyther park? Or right? What? We caught scyther here last, last time. Scyther nest. Here. This must be a scyther nest now. Discovery Park. There it is. Two day streak. Gotta maintain that. I wonder how that's going to work when I cross the international date line on the flight tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. I've been struggling with catches a lot lately. It seems like things are breaking out way more often, but again, it could just be a string of bad luck. Fury Cutter X Scissor, nice. Not bad IVs either. The farther back home. <laughs> I almost dropped my phone because I'm trying to get this freaking scyther. I'm wasting all my pokeballs on this one. Sweet. How's this one? Steelwing X scissor. That's what we got Magnemite. last night. And not bad IVs on this either. This one's and a Magnemite. And more Scyther on sightings. Okay, I'm gonna say this is definitely a Scyther park here. Scyther nest. Oh, sweet. And an instinct gym. Should we go drop something off? Let's do it. Alright, we're gonna have to train this one up just a little bit. Ponyta, 939, Nidoking. King. I'm just gonna. Hmm. I gotta skip the Ponyta. Ignore that and focus on the Hypno and the Native King. At 1454 and 1498, I wanna keep everything around 700. So let's just sort by CP. It's not a good spot for me. Vaporeon's good. Yes, Tauros. And then just a bunch of filler below that. All right. The sad thing is I'm really only gonna get like 1200 prestige out of this. Niantic needs to find balance here. got a little rough at the end there but we leveled it up and look at that another scyther and a pair of my chops are you training we're just gonna we're gonna fill the one spot and go eat because i haven't put my dragonite in a gym yet why not all right one spot go eat Training just takes way too long now. I don't know. I just did it because of how you said. Oh. Well then let's train. Cassie's training, I'm training. Honestly though, a thousand prestige for winning, a thousand prestige for losing. I don't see the problem.
Dragonite in here. I wasn't expecting that. Alright, what did we get out of that one? 1234. Alright, I got it. You're in. It's kind of a trip that this thing was in space. And we're just like leaning on it right now. Posted up right here against a piece of space machinery. Alright, I'm gonna catch these and then let's go eat. Check it out. Another Scyther. That's four since we've been here. This was a nest, you guys remember, shout out to Miguel, who came and showed me this when I think it was a Bellsprout nest at the time, but it never spawned anything like this. Four Scythers in maybe 15 minutes is crazy because we would spend 30, 45 minutes here previously and only catch a couple. So I'm gonna hop on the Silk Road after I'm done catching this one, see if it's been reported as a Scyther nest, and, uh, well, after this one runs for me. If it's not reported, I'll report it. If it is reported, I'll confirm it. No nest reported at this park. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a report. Am I not logged in? I just logged in. Add a report. Scyther. A nest. Right here. Nope, it's a new nest. We definitely saw a cluster spawn right when we got here. And it is... It's right here, at this park. Cool. Someone come by, check it out. We caught four in like 15 minutes. I decided not to travel with the full amount. One, because it's just gonna be safer and smarter that way and two, because I forgot to go to the bank before it closed. So I just went to the ATM and pulled out what I could, and that's what I'm gonna go there with and exchange that at Currency Exchange. Plenty of people have told me that I can just pull out money at ATMs there, so I'm gonna do that as I need it, so that way I'm not walking around in a foreign country with a ton of money on me. And while we're talking about the money, I was reminded that I'm gonna have to pay taxes on all that money, which is really unfortunate because that means a lot of what you guys donated isn't going to be able to go towards the economy in the Tohoku region. It's going to go towards taxes because that counts as income for me. So typically I set aside 40% for taxes. That's just to be safe. I probably won't end up paying 40%, but it might be close to that. So at the end of the year when I file my taxes and find out what I actually have to pay, I can take back the extra and donate that at that time. But I do have to set aside 40% of this money to go towards taxes. After setting aside 40%, we're left with about $11,000 that was raised. 1,200 of that is going towards the cost of the trip, and the rest of it, that's $9,800 or so, is gonna be going into the economy or to a charitable organization. I'm actually really sad about this. I mean, I don't mind paying taxes, I honestly don't, but this is money that you guys donated for a cause, and I feel like looking back now, it might have been smarter for me to just raise the $1,200 for the trip, and then maybe just ask you guys to donate to some kind of organization instead. But this is the way we did it. I am gonna have to pay taxes on it, but the rest of it is gonna go to a good cause. Now, I was gonna shoot a packing montage, but it's getting kinda late already, and typically when I try to shoot and pack at the same time, I forget things. So instead, I'm just gonna end this episode here, and we'll pick up tomorrow morning when I'm heading to the airport. I'll see you guys then.